It's Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. In our last videos, we um, with the slot car, sorry, the CO2 car, we have extruded it. We've uh, put the holes in. Uh, we've started to model it. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make it look realistic by putting in axles and wheels. So the first step we're going to do is I'm going to move into the center so I can see it better, and I'm going to click on the round tool. Sorry, wait a second. Extrude placement define and now I want to sit on this face and I want to click sketch now yours may have done this which is okay and this is the side view or sorry the front view now what we want to do is I want to click circle and I want to click circle concentric and that way when I grab this one this guy it'll automatically grab it to the center now I want to make the axle I can't make the axle grab there if you look at here watch I can't make it grab there because that's size for size and it wouldn't rotate. So we come slightly under, which we'll get into later. Click OK. So one click and OK. And now it should something look something like this. Now, first of all, the axle sticking at the wrong side. What we want to do is bring the axle this way and then change the length of the axle to 40 millimeters or whatever size you happen to need. But this one I know is 40. Then I click OK. And now I come in and I'm going to I'll leave that the way it is. I'm going to now, before I do anything else, I'm going to come up here and click the part screen. And then I'm going to go into view. And then I'm going to change the whole car to a certain color. Now I'm going to change mine to yellow. You can change yours to whatever color. Now the back didn't change, but that's fine. Just click that, paint it, click OK. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to change the color of that axle so I can see it better. I'm going to click it and change, paint it blue and click OK. And now I can see the axle better. Now, the next step, I want to put the front axle in. So I'm going to go back to the modeling screen, click Extrude, uh, Placement, Define, and then I want to grab the Circle Tool once again, come back in, and again, you may be looking at it this view, that's okay. I'm going to look at it for this view. I'm going to click on the, this one, drag it out until it's just a little bit under, like that. We'll change the dimension. You could have changed the dimension. I'm not going to bother changing the dimension, but you could change it to 2.8 because we know the hole is 3 millimeters. Click OK. A, B, default orientation so I can see the whole thing. Again, it's uh, the wrong way, so you grab this, you take it across. I could have clicked one of the buttons up there as well. Change it to 40 millimeters. Click OK. And then now I have two axles. Now I'm going to scroll in once again, and I'm going to paint. go back into the view mode, appearance, and I'm going to paint that guy. Click it again until you get the little paintbrush. Click it. Paint it OK. Now, I want to put the wheels. Make it look more realistic. So I go back into the modeling screen. Extrude. Placement. Define. I want to sit on this face and click Sketch. And now I'm going to just, I'll just do one wheel and you can figure out how to do the other ones. We're going to click on Circle. Concentric. Grab this there. And I I'm not 100% certain what the wheel sizes are because I'm not at my desk right now. Um, so bring it up to something like maybe that. I want you to you to actually measure it and get the correct dimension. And you can grab it, grab a um, out of the, grab a uh, grab an existing one. Double click on this guy. For some reason, it's not let me click on him. I will come back to that. Click OK. Now the width of it. Set the width. I think it's maybe around 20 millimeters. Just guessing. I'm not certain. Click OK. Now I can come back. I'm going to change the wheel diameter. Click now. If you click these extrusions, you'll see which one's which. But you click on that one, you can see that how it, what it is. Click Edit Definition. That click Edit Definition it changes the width, but Edit straight on Edit will change the diameter. Now let's see if it'll let us click it. Yeah, this time it did. There's some something wrong, I believe. I don't know what it is, but let's say it's 52 millimeters, something along those lines. Not certain. Uh, again, get the dimension out of the book. Now we hit the escape key, and we've got our wheel. We can go back into the view mode. We can click appearance model, and we can change the black, change the wheels to black so it looks more realistic, if you like. Paint one, and then paint the other one. Click OK. My graphics card isn't all that great, so it's uh, it's it's not looking uh, like it should. And change mine to gray. Make it look a little bit better. Gray, okay. Gray, okay. So there we go. Now you can go back and draw the other wheels in. Make any more changes you want. And then later on we will create a working drawing or an orthographic drawing out of it.